Hello, hello, hello. What we got here then? Well, we got Finders Keepers on the ZX Spectrum, developed by David Jones and published by Mastertronic in 1985. And my name's Nick, uh, your guide through this game, which is a, a bit of a good one. It um, was very successful, uh, part of the Magic Knight series, the first one. So Magic Knight wishes to become a member of the Polygon table. Well, wouldn't we all? The king has sent him to the dreaded castle of Spriteland to prove his worth, but Magic Knight has changed his mind, which he does. He has two choices, one, escape from the castle of, uh, well, yes, or two, as collect as uh, much treasure as possible. So open-ended, uh, multiple choices what you want to do, and that's not a bad thing. Uh, collect and trade objects, avoid nasty strength-reducing monsters good advice. Some objects will react to produce more useful objects. Press any key. Well, so we've got to make money or escape the castle, basically. Now, this is a good little game. Also come out on the MSX, Commodore 64 and Commodore 16, as I look at the controls here, but I'll be using joystick mainly. Uh, also come out on the Amstrad CPC in 1985. This is a platform game slash adventure. It was the first one in the Magic Knight series. A uh, budget game of £1.99, which proved, as I said, very successful. So, what's to this game? Well, uh, yes, we're with the king at the moment. We need to teleport out of here. There we go. So, um, others in the series was the second one was Spellbound, followed by Nighttime, then Stormbringer. So, here we are. Here's our knight here, travelling around. So, um, you see these triangular white um, objects, they are things we can collect to either sell or trade. But um, yes, that thing on the top right there looks like one of the Amoebatrons from Manic Miner. Jumping is a bit awkward in this, fun though it is, you have to be a bit precise. Every time we hit one of these Nazis we lose a bit of energy, uh, of course. The game's made up of these uh, levels, with different room names, a bit like Jet Set Willy. And then there's a couple of mazes, which is the cold upper maze, which is blue, and the slimy, slimy lower maze, which is green. I think it had different names on the Commodore 64 version, so let's see what this is. There's not an object here. Well, there is. You have to be very precise on these. One's going to turn up. There's nothing within reach. There will be in a minute, I'm sure. Maybe it's a fake item. Um, oops, that didn't work. Well, it's a teleport, that was. Where is this? The needlework room. That's important to have in a castle. So one of these games as a kid, you weren't 100% sure what you were doing, but you could explore everywhere. Not bad. It's very colourful. Uh, quite a few rooms to explore. It's a winner. I like this one. Did you have this game? Well, um, what I like about it as well, it gives you the percentages. A few games did. Sabre Wolf was one. How much have you explored? The Ad Attack was another. We've explored 16%. Cash zero. Uh, we start off with a few objects worth £86.16 by the look of things. We have four lives. You can see my strength there in that bar. Red is bad, green is good, so we're already halfway through this life. Might have a couple of goes at this one, see how far we get. It's Dr. Wombat's bedroom. I don't know where Dr. Wombat is. There's no bed in here, so I don't know what he sleeps on. But um, do wombats have beds anyway? And I've missed that jump. Curses. So, I've already explored 20% of the game. Now, there's an exit there on the right midway up. If I go over there, I think it's one of the mazes. It might be the cold upper maze. Hopefully, I can... Um, bring you one of the trading posts in this which will see another knight dressed very similar to me and we can trade objects there um, you can combine objects so I think uh, the lead bar and the philosopher's stone no not the one out of Harry Potter but if we find those two items they combine to make a gold bar and gold is worth quite a lot more than lead I don't know if you're an expert in that field but it is so if someone offers you to swap your gold bar for a lead bar I, I would turn them down that's just a bit of economic advice from me I seem to be going round in circles here, not making much progress. I wish I should have stayed on the lower levels, really. Not going well. Not much strength left on this uh, life. But the jumping, as I said, that's my one criticism of it. It's a little bit slippery, a little bit imprecise. But uh, I can let that go. It's quite good fun, this, if you, you know what you're doing. Which, as you can tell, I, I uh, do. Do I? 
Maybe. I don't know. The judge is out on that one. Whoops. There's nothing within reach. So if I hit... I'm controlling this on the uh, joystick, but there's a few uh, control commands. G is get if you're on top of something very precisely. D is drop. T is trade if we find anyone here. The ice cream factory. I want some ice cream. Oh, that was a good jump. Let's see if I can make it to here. Nope. Oh dear, this is painful to watch. Well, I'm always amazed by these games that uh, the people that built the original building should have had normal stairs, but uh, they got this ledges. Imagine if you had that in your house. Just jumping. Oh, we've made it to the maze. Good. Right, this is the uh, cold upper maze, so let's go exploring. See what objects we can find. Hopefully things of high value. What's that? That's nothing. That's just a yellow block for no reason. There's no object here to examine. Mm, a bit Pac-Man-ish this, but not Pac-Man at the same time. Bit jerky on the scrolling, but we can get away with that as well. 1985, remember? That's when Marty McFly went back to the future. So it's about that era. Here we go. Oh, there's a door there, is it? Well, there's an object here. Let's see if we can pick that up. Right, that was a spark of life. Don't know what that is. A spark of life. How much is a spark of life worth? I don't know. Can you put a price on a spark of life? Now, we've been teleported to the slimy lower maze. Uh, we picked up the mud monster. That's an interesting item. Uh, that must combine with something. The mud monster. Oh. I don't know what's controlling these things. There's another object over here. Let's see what this is. That's a bar of lead. Right, so if we find the Philosopher's Stone, that'll turn to gold, as I mentioned. Where is the Philosopher's Stone? Is it somewhere here? Where did Harry Potter leave it? The slimy lower maze. It looks pretty slimy. It's green. That says slime. But very colourful this. It uses the Spectrum's uh, 8 graphic display quite well. No music playing in the game. It's not really necessary. Oh, I can't carry anything else. I need to get out of here and trade a few things. Don't fancy dropping anything. Especially, uh, I think I'm holding a lump of cheese. That's quite valuable. I don't want to drop that. Right, how do I get out of here? Yes, this reminds me of the maze at Hampton Court. You go in there. Oops, the game has ended. Magic Knight is exhausted and I'm dead. Well, uh, I think this deserves another go, you know. Sometimes I just have one go, but I'm quite enjoying this. I think it's worth another, another attempt. Because I didn't show you any trading, did I? I need to show you a trading post. Finders keepers. Why has this ancient knight got a teleport? That's what I want to know. Where did he get that from? I suspect alien involvement. Right, the trader man's this way, I think. Oh, I'm being chased by a big worm. There he is. Golden, the trader. Ah, oh, Golden. Uh, he's got Golden's foot. Well, I don't want your foot, Gordon. I don't know what I'd use that for. Right, I've got a lump of cheese, an Olympic medal for something, and a chunk of cat meat. Just sold him the medal. That's got me thirty pounds. Oh no. Yeah, he's got the Olympic medal. I don't want to buy that bag. A chunk of cat meat. I think there's a cat somewhere in this game where that comes in useful. Or maybe I imagined it. Oh. A lump of cheese. He didn't want that. Well, I'll take that with me. It's worth 16p, apparently. 16p. I'm rich. It's all I've got to my name here. As we go past the castle teleport room down the bottom here. The astrologer's study. Oh, what's this? There's nothing in reach. Well, I think there is. Right, it was a carving knife. Oh, how much is that worth? Let's check with Gordon. I've got a lovely carving knife for you, Gordon. I feel like a bit like a dodgy dealer here. If he doesn't buy it, I'll stick it in his neck, perhaps. Hi, right, Golden. I've got a carving knife for you. How much you give me for that? Yeah, we don't want any of that crap. We sold you that. Carving knife? Right. I think that was worth about four pounds, was it, or something? Weren't much, but he's bought it. So Golden's got lots of stuff. He's got cat meat. He's got his own foot. And a carving knife. Well, that sounds like a good dinner for him. Pity he didn't want the lump of cheese. That would have been a nice uh, cheese board afterwards. Right, let's go up here. We want to get into that slimy lower maze. See what's about. This jumping is a bit annoying after a while. Got to be very precise. Which I'm not. Ugh. Ugh. 
It's very hard to jump about when you're wearing a full set of uh, suit of armour. I don't know if you've ever tried it. It weighs a ton, but uh, maybe you should pick up a suit of armour just to try it out. It's a bit of an expensive thing to do, but, uh, you know, I, I'm some random off the internet, so that's to be believed. Maybe. Right, this maze is so slimy. There's a door down there. How do I get there? I'm probably going to die in this maze. A bit like the maze at Hampton Court. If you haven't been there, I, I would uh, I would go there. Google it if you don't know what Hampton Court maze is. Maybe take a map with you. But it's not slimy. It's very nice. What are these creatures in this maze? This this castle's got problems. It's pity Merlin the Wizard isn't about. We need him. I, I think a wizard might turn up in one of the sequels, you know. But this is the first in the Magic Knight series. What's this? That's the Philosopher's Stone, right. We find a, um, a lead bar, wherever that was. You'll get some amazing sound effect and it'll convert to gold. Hopefully this is it. It is. That was a lead bar. There we go. So we've got a gold bar, number two. A nice easy conversion there. So we need to get out of here because a gold bar is worth quite a lot, I would have thought. How much would you pay for a gold bar? At least five pounds. And five pounds is what's needed. We've got 34 pounds 50 pence at the moment. That's a pretty good day's work. I'm not sure there's other traders in this game apart from Gordon. Oh, there's the exits. Let's get out of here. I've got gold bars. Let's go along the bottom. There's less things to kill us here. Oh, yes. How much will you give us for the gold bar? Well, it says our objects are worth 220. So I suspect the gold bar is worth most of that. Right, Gordon, you're still here. Got something for you here. He's got all this crap. Well, I've got a gold bar. Look at that. I've got loads of money now. Hooray. I just need a Guinevere or someone to take for a date. Lump of cheese. Well, yeah. It's good. It's lucky to take a lump of cheese around with you, isn't it? Is it? Maybe. I think there might be some decent objects across the top there because they're hard to get to. We need to get across the top, I think. And that means pinpoint jumping, which could be a problem. There's that Amoebatron thing again that looks very much like that one from Manic Miner. But there's different makers of this. Well, who should I know? It's Mastertronic. Mastertronic were great as a kid because they, uh, for pocket money games, all the others were a little bit more expensive. Uh, these were 199 at the time. It did seem like quite a lot of money then. But not compared to a full price game. And I think because of that, because that's competitive in the market, they, uh, their games are very successful. I think this first one, Finders Keepers, are the most successful in the series, and they kept going. I don't know why this one was more successful than the others. Probably play a little bit different. We may or may not bring you those. Probably will in time. But uh, I think so far in terms of Spectrum games, we've reviewed uh, over 70, which I still can't believe. We'll keep plodding on, eventually we'll get to 100 and maybe then do some top 10s or what have you, or review whole series together, see how they developed as they went on. I'm not doing very well with this, am I? I keep falling down. You don't want to fall 30 feet in a suit of armour. That's bound to do your knees in if you don't bend your legs properly, or you're made of rubber. Oh, no. I can't jump for Toffee here. Did you ever complete this game? I certainly didn't. It's a, it's a bit like one of those ones like everyone's a Wally really, where mainly I just walked around exploring, having a laugh. There's nothing within reach. There is. We can see it. Unless he's got a very short reach. There is. Right. We go, we go a millimetre in this direction. There we go. It was a tube of glue. So there goes my theory of the good stuff's up the top. A tube of glue. That can't be worth much. Unless it's special wood glue. We went over that teleport this time. Oh. What was that? Diamond dust. Well, now we're talking. That's valuable. Diamond dust. So we've got diamond dust and glue. What can you do with those two? Seems like a Blue Peter thing. Maybe we can build Tracy Island. Let's see what Gordon thinks. If we can get to Gordon without dying. We haven't got too much strength left here. Gordon, I've got glue. I've got glue, Gordon. Glue? glue 
I've got diamond dust as well. Right, there's the diamond dust. What's that taking up to 360? I really want to sell you the glue as well, Gordon. You can't sell that. Well, Gordon isn't into glue, which is probably for the best, really. You've got to keep a, a clean head. Perhaps it's leaking solvent gases. Okay, you can't sell glue. Well, that must be because it's needed for something else in here that I haven't come across. Maybe something's broken, we need to glue it together. Maybe we need to glue the cat meat to the cheese or something. Oh, so we're almost dead. Some objects over here. What's that? An iron mace. Well, that's good for clubbing people on the head. Oops, that could be curtains. Oh dear. We haven't got much left strength left in this world. Let's jump up here, see if we can make a bit of progress. Right. Hmm. Come on, you knight. He doesn't look too magic at the moment. Whoops. Oh dear. The game has ended. Magic Knight is exhausted. So yeah, we've got a bit of money there. Um, now that's quite good. I hope you enjoyed watching that one. That was Finders Keepers on the ZX Spectrum. Until next time then, goodbye. Goodbye.